Here is some footage from the prototype testing of my 3D printed DFS Habicht glider. All in all it's a very cool plane but the main star of the show is of course the retractable 47mm EDF unit. Here's the first flight and right from takeoff it flew just as intended. Here is the third flight taking off into the sunset. First I tested its stall characteristics. Turns out it's very forgiving, but if you want to you can let it snap. Here's the first roll. I had a GPS tracker on board on most of the flights, which records height, speed, position, and the G loading on the plane. The average speed is about 35 km per hour. The maximum recorded speed was 120 km per hour. Here you can see inverted flight. Here was the first kind of snap, followed by the first loop and a pretty low pass. It was a beautiful landing, but then disaster struck. I used the wrong glue in for the wing spars and the wing snapped. Most of the parts survived and were usable. So I spent the next 3 months redesigning the whole wings with stronger spars. I tested various glues and the new wings are about 3 times as strong while keeping the weight the same. First flight with the new wings and the plane flies just as good as before. I was really impressed how well it handles the wind, especially for such a light plane. And here's the first loop with the new wings.
First I start very conservatively with all the aerobatic maneuvers because I didn't want to break it right again. But then I got a bit more confident and tried a little bit harder stuff. But it's going to get way crazier in the end. And here we've got a snap roll. Here are the first tests of spinning, which didn't work very well because I still use the forward CG. The next day we shifted the CG a bit further back, which you can see leads to much more aggressive spinning. And we went to the slope and tested it there. And it's also quite an excellent slope solo. Right now the airframe has about an hour of slope soaring time. The next thing I did was to swap the EDF for a front mounted folding propeller, which makes the plane more than 300 grams lighter and gives it much more flight time. Because the weight loss was only in the fuselage, I was now able to fly at much higher G loadings. The highest recorded G loading right now is 8.5. The lower weight makes the plane a bit more agile and slower, but it also loses a bit of inertia. Here you can see a little knife edge attempt, which I think is pretty good for a glider. One of the most impressive things with this plane is how little energy it loses when doing a loop. With a free S1200 mAh LiPo, I can get over 10 minutes of flight time only ascending and then doing these kinds of aerobatics down. One thing I really like is how scale this plane feels in the air. And this way the plane is seriously one of the most fun airplanes I've ever flown. And now sit back and enjoy the aerobatic flights.
I also tested this plane with an analog FPV system. And although I feel very comfortable flying FPV quadcopters, I don't feel comfortable at all flying FPV airplanes. So most of the time I was flying line of sight here and used the camera just to record the flight on board. But I also tried a bit of FPV flying and I thought that this was one of the better FPV planes which I've flown. One thing I find negative is that you can't really tell the, the exact speed at which the plane is moving, which is extremely important for the aerobatics here. Then I reinstalled the EDF and at an extremely calm day I tested the glide ratio with the GPS tracker. The plane had a sink rate of about 0.75 meters per second at 43 km per hour which leads to a glide ratio of roughly 12. Although I expected a bit more I'm completely happy with it because it has a fat scale fuselage and it was designed to have good flight characteristics for aerobatic and thermal flying and not to reach the highest possible glide ratio. Then we flew it in extremely high winds and as you can see here, the wind was strong enough to make the plane land backwards. We also chase it with an FPV copter. I hope to get some better footage very soon, especially with the next version printed completely white and then painted. In the end I'm super happy with this plane, it has phenomenal flight characteristics, can do some crazy aerobatics and it's a scale version of my favorite glider ever. All the parts for the build video are already printed, so I hope to release this very soon. I hope you enjoyed this video, have a great day, bye!